Hello, folks, and welcome to the Ungodly Geeks podcast. My name's Luke. I'm Joe. And I'm Ron. And today we're going to bring you some uh, recent news stories in the realm of geekdom. So, first of all, I wanted to go ahead and talk a little bit about the uh, announcement and new trailer for uh, Call of Duty World War II. A kind of interesting concept. Uh, mm-hmm. I guess in a way they're going back to their roots. I know a lot of people are, are saying yeah. that. So, I mean, because what was the first Call of Duty game was World War One, right? No, no, no. It was World War Two. Was it two? Call of Duty World War Two. Call of Duty Two was World War Two. They did Big Red One. And I want to say there was one other game. Well, um, you mentioned Airborne earlier. That was, was and that was, was actually it, Medal of Honor. Was I was just it, saying um, if they could. Oh, I got title. you. But I, I don't know these things. I don't. Yeah. I never really yeah, played being. I'm before. interested. Enough time has passed. I'm yep. ready for another World War II game. Yeah. My first shooter that got me into shooters was Medal of Honor Frontline. So Great I'm game. definitely interested in this one. Yeah, it's. Uh, I've always been a fan of the World War II shooters, and even as a fan, they, they got old. Um, about the last one that I was really a big fan of was uh, Medal of Honor Airborne. I thought the way they changed it up was good, but it just that came Pearl out Harbor. too little too late. Was that the Pearl Harbor one? Uh, I don't remember a Pearl Harbor. No, that Harbor. wasn't one. That was, no, no. Uh, fuck, I can't remember. It was it, PS2 days. I just remember the campaign I know what was you're fun. talking about. Yeah, yeah. Every time you die, you would switch to another paratrooper coming yeah, down. Yeah. You'd land where you wanted in the level. They'd have different points. I remember it was It was demo. a fantastic idea for a game. Um, but this one, you know, they've said, or it, it's either a rumor or they've announced that they're dealing away with uh, regen health which is pretty interesting for a first-person shooter nowadays. We don't get that much uh, anymore. Right. So hmm. going back to health packs, they said that every bullet is going to count. Every hit will count. In like a you shooter, need to avoid. with a shooter mechanic and like a, a shooter gameplay situation, I don't know how that'll work. Be interested That's... to see how that works. In a third-person you know, action game kind of deal, I could see. It's uh, uh it, it's feels a little bit more like um uh Tom Clancy ish in that way like uh R- Rainbow Six. Yeah. Those games, you know, you get shot twice you down. Yeah, there ain't I mean was fuck. I shows, shows what an uncultured swine I am. Are there like <laughs> were there automatic weapons? Yeah. In World War 2 like Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're well, not going to yeah, get like Yeah, a absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, you're not no. going to have like I mean, you're not going to have like Bullets spraying around, so I could well, see yeah, you, you not would. having yeah, no, to take you, you as many. Would. I mean, Especially okay, if they yeah. take if I'm, they take the, the the obvious influence of this game it. is because Battlefield One was a huge success for uh, EA and Dice. Yeah, and they saw that and went, "Oh, we can do that. We, we you know we had World War Two down." Yeah, Why like, don't we, we go back? We did that. And yeah, yeah there's absolutely going to be automatic weapons there. Obviously, you're not expecting like an M16 or anything, no, 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 but, no. but you're still going to have automatic I, rifles. I was back trying then. to imagine it yeah. as being much slower. No. Like shit, like you're, it's I not mean, a goddamn war zone like in I'm Call hoping. of Duty's recently. But I mean, so honestly, I back then it was, it was pretty, work. it was pretty insane in, in World War II's trenches and stuff. Like, to be honest, it was probably more of the war zone you're thinking of. Much worse back then, especially if they go with the realism angle. Right nowadays, you don't see the people you're shooting at. Right. You don't. You almost should never get that close realistically. Not that I have any military experience or anything, but from talking to people, seeing documentaries and things, uh, if you get that close to an enemy, shit's gone bad. Yeah, if you're yeah. that yeah. close, somebody you're got bad. Yeah, when you, everyone yes. who plays Call of Duty. Can can hear these sound and this this these sound effects in their head like the moment before death in multiplayer you just hear yourself getting popped by bullets. Yeah. Like I, I try to imagine trying to play a game like that where you don't have a regening health bar. Yeah, it's gonna be tough, especially why I'm wondering if they'll do that in multiplayer because that's the that's the mode where I don't know you get hit twice and you've got like one point of health that that'd be pretty annoying to be walking around like that. Yeah. I mean, you talk about spawn campers, like yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> like they are winning the match by a mile. Like this. yeah, I I, so. I go back to Call of Duty 2's multiplayer where the uh, you have the fully automatic submachine guns, you've got some semi-automatic rifles. The to me, the king of that multiplayer was the bolt action rifles because they were one shot kills. So you mm-hmm. just camp with a bolt action rifle and 
you could pretty much own if you were anywhere decent. I have to take your word for it. I didn't yeah. start to get into multiplayer until like Halo 3. So mm-hmm. I it, can't it, really it's remember. Well, uh, we'll see what happens with it. I'm hoping this pulls Call of Duty back into making, you know, a, a quality game all around. Yeah, I've been so fatigued with Call of Duty. Like, mm-hmm. I skip three. I skip every, like, third game. I'll jump back in. Kevin Spacey, what was it? Uh, uh, Advanced Warfare was the last one I jumped yeah. in on. Yeah. And I was, like, all in on it. I'm ready to come back in. I got to say, man. I they... skipped the last two or, or yeah. fucking however many. They, and they... Uh, I'm ready they they really did push Kevin Spacey as like a selling point for that game. Like, look, guys, we got Kevin Spacey to do this and commander there, guy. Like, there's no, as far as I know, there's no stunt casting like that in this one. It's just, right. So far, there hasn't been. I mean, if Tom Which Hanks I think ends up good. on the box art, then we know. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, I, I granted Russell Kevin Spacey Crow. was good in that game. Like his character, he was very obviously going to turn out to be the bad guy. But I, I, you can't you can't knock his acting in it. Yeah. But yeah. We'll see how that goes. I'm Sounds interested. Good. Yeah, I, I might pick it up. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Luis is on PC and isn't horribly fucking broken. <laughs> it's fucking good port for once. Right. So, uh, yeah, another thing coming out soon: Injustice. More character videos. More information. Uh, I I'm not a fighting game fan. I'm not either. I just see videos and stuff, and I I want it. And at then, the same time, I don't. Because then you realize that, like, you will never be half as good as the people no. in the video. Oh, no, I've I'm never touched a, multiplayer. I've never been a fighting game person. Uh, how much did you play Injustice 1? Um, I didn't buy it on the initial release, which I'm glad I didn't, because then a year later I bought the same game for half the price and came with all the DLC. I'd never had any success with fighting games. They've never just bet. They've never been my thing. Right. Yeah. Uh, I'm in the same boat. I'm like, can't do it. But I jumped in on Injustice, and I don't know if it's because I'm such a fucking comic book nerd. <laughs> I was just so motivated to, all right, I'm going to figure this shit out. Yeah, Ron's and totally I, Green Lantern and trash. I got, yeah. I got, yeah, I got really fucking good at it. And uh, Green Lantern, all the, all the time, I loved the first one. Your and inner this, lantern came out. This, yeah, I was like, I'm gonna show all these motherfuckers. <laughs> it's like, yeah, for me, I, I Come used on, to Batman. be, I used to be a fighting guy fan. Like in the days of Super Nintendo, Street, Super Street Fighter Two, and shit like that. Like I played the fuck out of Street Fighter Two yeah. Turbo, and so fun. But and then man. you know we just never got fighting games when I was growing up. After that, so I never, I never got into them after after the Super Nintendo 16 bit days because we moved on. to... You know, PlayStation, we never had any fighting game that I can recall on PlayStation. I remember playing a demo of Power Stone, and then I found a copy of Rival Schools on the side of the road that somehow still worked, and I played Jesus. that. So, yeah, like, that yeah. was my thing. And I used to love fighting games. I used to be halfway decent at them, and then you just stop playing them. Yeah, so. you have to, it's a continuous thing. You have to have that mindset for right. the combos and juggling and counters, mm-hmm. and I just... Yeah. I, I think I'm good at a fighting game. Like, I'll go through the campaign and beat it on normal and be like, yeah, I think I could take yeah. someone on and then play one match Run with somebody, somebody who knows who what they're doing. Wipes and just you go, out. Yeah. Never mind. You get no offense. In. <laughs> it's just, you have nothing. They, they block oh, yeah. every attack, but you're always open. They're, they're fucking you up. <laughs> it's yeah. just done. But, uh, I, I thought I was good with Solomon. The first Grundy. Injustice was damn good, and this one looks oh, yeah. even better. They the character beautiful. models in this one look next level. Scarecrow is terrifying. They, He's a beast. They fixed in the the character models that didn't look right mm-hmm. in the first Injustice. Like Wonder Woman, she looked like I don't like she, it just she didn't work. She looked like more, more masculine than any guy I know. In the first <laughs> one, they actually they they fixed her character model in this one. Uh, Joker looks awesome in this one. He doesn't like the Joker for the most part. Mark Hamill's version of the Joker. That kind of look has been going on for the Joker in every game. And this one's got kind of a Heath Ledger vibe to it, which I was happy to see. Uh, who's – did they – do you know who's doing the voice? I didn't watch the Joker. No, it sounds it sounds similar to, to the uh, – to Hamill's version. But he looks – he's got kind of like the uh, fucking emover <laughs> haircut. Uh, he's got a strong Heath Ledger vibe to him. Mm-hmm. It looks awesome. I was happy to see that. Dark side looks awesome. Yeah, uh, but that's, that's my if you fucking issue. get 
choose to pay money to play as him. Yeah. Uh, Pre-order. Green, Green Lantern looks great. Firestorm looks great. Grod mm-hmm. looks great. They all look awesome. That uh, that trailer I'm where they show some it. of Grodd's, I don't know, storyline, whatever the story Flash is. Flash looks great. amazing. His super move. Yeah. It's the awesome. story, and, and you think of fighting games, you don't think of story, but like the first Injustice, I played it, and I haven't done this for any other game. I played it, I beat it in one sitting. Right. Mm-hmm. I played through all the way in one sitting. Uh, the story was so great, and the, the story trailer for this one I like the way even they better. did it. For for a fighting game story, yeah. the way they did that was interesting. Going back and forth, everybody, I even liked it in the last Mortal Kombat. Everybody got their their time to shine in it, uh, yeah. Except for Shazam, because uh, <laughs> it's like a running gag. Running gag. Poor Shazam has to die, a fucking a horrible <laughs> death, and and <laughs> it's because he's the only kid. Of course, you have to yeah, kill off Superman. The kid. Killed the shit out of Shazam. <laughs> First game is kind of shitty. Kinda brutal. If yeah. you get a chance, go back and watch. Angry Joe's review for Injustice, his reaction was my reaction for that. Just like, what the fuck? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Can't unsee that. Shit. Honestly, I liked the game's storyline more than the continued comic storyline. What little of it I read and looked into, it, it just dragged on. And ugh, some of the deaths of people just seemed un, uh, unreasonable. Yeah. <laughs> A disrespectful to their own property. Yeah, like I, <laughs> God, I feel bad for any Shazam fans. Yeah, Batman gra- or Superman grabs Shazam by the the scruff of his neck and fucking and eye laser him. eye beams him to death through his eyes. It's fucked up. Yeah, he <laughs> murders the shit out of him, and everybody Boils else just sta- I everybody hope else just like- stands there and watches because they're afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't like the other two uh, Green Lanterns because holy shit. Yeah. Uh, so it sounds like some pretty horrible shit went down. Oh yeah, fucking uh, they, they just they were killed like that. It was just bad. So yeah. Superman, what did Superman go rogue? Or what happened? No, um, that's the storyline. Uh, wait, well, you're, you're talking about the I was, Justice yeah, I mean, comics. The comics, yeah. Okay, sorry, gotcha. in the in the game, yeah, it's just mm-hmm. Superman being a fucking beast. Yeah, he's just being. He's, I haven't read the comics, so uh, he's just being a dick. Because no, oh, yeah, the, uh, I don't know why. I just never got in on him. Yeah, the story is interesting. Um, I think it's interesting for a short story, though. Right. I don't. I, it's just something that I don't know why they decided to continue it for They're so keeping much. Keeping that but series going love somehow. It. Yeah. And I, I didn't. I didn't once. Once I had heard what how they treated <laughs> John. How are you gonna my, do that to John Stewart? I mean, just motherfucker. You got to keep the plot going. Yeah. You got to get rid of those guys because if you don't, I mean. The super You're serum coming. was dumb from the beginning, but yeah. seeing pages where Alfred kicked the shit out of Superman was kind of cool. Yeah. But yeah, Injustice 2 is coming out. That game looks awesome. Yeah. I'm all in on that one too. Um, we'll keep with uh, video game news, something that's kind of small. Uh, I personally am really excited for it is Dead Space 2 and 3, backwards compatibility. Yep. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, on X- Xbox I'd One. I'd forgotten, one. Yeah. but uh, I yep. don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, 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 I still like, have my Xbox One, still have Dead Space 2 for right, the 360, right, right. and I was thinking about putting it in just last week, and then realized it's probably not backwards compatible, and then this week that news came out, and I was like, fuck yes. I never Go had, I never got to miss them being backwards compatible, because um, since I've had an Xbox One, I've only played the first Dead Space, because mm-hmm. uh, I was going to 100% the first Dead Space, so I'd played yeah. that one. I'm on my third playthrough of that one, so I hadn't <laughs> gotten to the second one. Right. Love and the third one. I still have not played any of the Dead Space games. Gotta check so out the first two. You can skip I'm the third one. I'm just kind of shrugging right now. It's so frustrating when you go to play an old game and it's yeah. not backwards compatible. Like I We, we talked about uh, games that we wanted to plug or meant something to us. I talked about Splatterhouse. I go to pl- put in the the Splatterhouse 2010 remake right? because it's got the originals in it. After we had that pod, I was like, I want to play those fucking games again. Right. Mm-hmm. Put it in. It's not backwards compatible, and I don't have a 360 anymore. Uh, that's that's something that I think we'll get into in a little bit right? with uh, kind of the state of games and backwards compatibility and everything. Availability. Um, so we might as well switch over to movie news. Next week, big release of Guardians 2. Uh, I know I'm fucking excited for it. I love the first Guardians. I cannot wait for that game, or for that movie. Yeah. Yeah, um, no. Um, Sylvester Stallone, dude. Hell yeah. Adding to the <laughs> cast. 
Yeah, I don't know. The first one was great. Uh, Which took it took me forever to actually see it. Yeah. <laughs> I, like it was watch like this movie. two and a half right. years later. All right, yeah, I'll watch it. And then two and a half years later, I finally go, "Hey, we should watch Guardians." Yeah, we're watching it right now. <laughs> Let's do I it just, right now. I just want it to be more of the same. Yeah, but you, that's what I'm hearing. I feel like people is. will bitch about that if they get it because. I mean, people are going to bitch about something. But. I mean, yeah, I, I think there's just I, – I think at this point um, there's just this, this group of people whose only purpose is to complain about things because well, yeah. that's the only time they're happy is when they're complaining about shit. Then again, we can't throw all bitching in with valid criticism. Well, I mean, yeah. I think kind of like the translation for when Ron says bitching. <laughs> I think that's why I, I, I kind of agree too. Fair, like, that's fair. Most bitching is just bitching. Like, none yeah, of it's no, about no, it it's is, about that criticism. Man. Yeah, I like mean, just you, it's it's shitting on things just for the just sake for of the, shitting, just because of the culture we're in I mean, right sometimes, now. Right. Yeah. Because, I mean, everybody's got to be offended for somebody or by something, and everybody's got to oh, yeah. have everybody's compl- everybody's opinion is valid. Because everybody's I mean, opinion, them, hold on, sure. hold on, hold on. I, I got everybody's opinion is valid because your feelings are the same as facts. So no, yeah, your feelings don't matter. Facts aren't the same as what you want to believe. Right. Uh, that's that's the beauty of science. You know, it's true whether you believe in it or not. Yeah. But, um. This one's. Uh. I can't wait to see Kurt Russell in it. Yeah. Um. This one's supposed to set up Adam Warlock. Um. Yeah, there's a lot going for this one. I, I I'm just like ready the... to see it. I feel like it should have been out a, like a week ago, <laughs> yeah, a week and yeah, a half ago. Yeah. It, 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 it's still so far away, but then the, it's a release date does line up with the original. Yeah. I mean, the original did release in May mm. of, what, 2014 or 2015? I don't even remember like they, now. They've showed it to yeah. the to press and stuff like that, and all these YouTubers got to see it like right. a week ago, and they post their reviews for it like – I gotta sit here for a week and a half. That's how after you know all they, of your reviews. They were confident in this movie, right? Is, uh, pushing that so far up. Yeah, they're so not. That people would see those like reviews. a hype killer. I'm just ready to see it. They're not yeah. pulling a Bethesda and not giving out review copies of a game because they're afraid yeah. it would get shitty reviews. Oh yeah, or fucking uh, Gearbox. Yeah, like, you don't get to review our game. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna get more Yondu. We're gonna get Sylvester Stallone. I hope they set to. him up as, you know. Because in the first Guardians, Yondu wasn't really a big part, but he ended up being uh, having a much larger part in this the second one. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's basically more of the I haven't seen it. He's, I've heard he's supposed to be kind of a a member of the Guardians. Kind of, kind of, maybe a big deal. I hope it's the same thing for Sil- Sylvester Stallone because I feel like he's going to be fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, I just I... can't imagine. I can't wait to see see that. I mean, I gotta say, he he's not like the best actor. But I at this point I I would probably watch just about anything that he's has got that like, surprise you. tough yeah. guy like he's basically think Expendables he yeah. he tells right. jo- he's, he can tell jokes yeah, he's got he de- that good he timing has, he has delivery that's for sure yeah. but like what I'm saying a little bit like I'll watch anything with him in it yeah like even at this point if you sat me down and we were just chilling and like what are we doing today we're watching Expendables three I'm like the guy's still all got right it. let's do it you love the movie Creed like you saw Creed. oh yeah he's, Creed he's Creed was fantastic it. Creed was fantastic and everybody in that movie was amazing but of course it's going to be I would hope so because it's Rocky yeah yeah. It's just it's Rocky passing the torch on to Creed's son, and it was oh, it was so good. It's Stallone yeah. at his prime, right? Hell, yeah. I liked him in the last Rambo too. Yeah, yeah he was pretty good. His I old mean, fucking vet. He's just mm. you could tell he was. Yeah, tired that last of that Rambo movie is yep. so underrated and yeah, underappreciated. It, sure. That movie was great. I, I'm Surprised actually reasonably sure I saw that in theaters too. So yeah, I did. I was surprised. I went like as a well, let's fuck go check it out. Might as well. Right. And holy shit. That old, yeah, that that old dude is, it was is worth it. running around the jungle. <laughs> and it's like yeah. and like you can tell that he's just tired of the shit. He yeah. is fucking tired. He's well, like, and when he just grabs a dude by the throat and rips his throat rips out with his bare hands. Out. Right, yeah. It's <laughs> oh, like, I gotta kill this guy quietly. Uh, I guess I'm gonna fuck fucking it. tear out his trachea. He's just like uh, <laughs> But uh, the scene where he's just blaring down, or he's just bearing 50, down, yeah, with the with fifty the, cow, uh, yeah, cutting with the, people just, in half, yeah, just, oh, that was pretty was realistic too. It was just literally wiping people in half. Yeah, 
Oh, great movie. Yeah, I hope it's just, it looks like it's going to be, Guardians 2 is just going to be more of what we loved from the first one. Yeah. And yep. give, setting up more, giving us more. I just hope it doesn't end the same way with him winning a dance-off or some stupid shit like that. Honestly, <laughs> that was kind of <laughs> fuck it. That was That was brilliant. It. Yeah. I was, I mean. That was brilliant in the movie, I, in the moment. It's it fucking different. happens, and you're like, wait, what? What's I going on I kind of hated it. I'm going to be honest. I, I hated it. But I do. I, I could still appreciate and it and that it's not like this overly it's anti serious. Yeah, for sure. I, I think I liked it so much because I didn't the villain was kind of meh in that movie. Right. To me he was like no, a he's fucking terrible. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, he's pretty bad. He's, bad. he's terrible. Awful. To me he was like an Osama bin Laden like a super religious fucking extremist and then his face when chris pratt starts fucking dancing it's just like, what what is this? what are you doing what is this what is this going on? that fucking oh that was reaction was beautiful it utter, was so good utter confusion utter bafflement yeah. like he'd never seen dan- never seen dancing never thought anyone would do something so insane he's bamboozled yeah oh yeah um topic that really was it's not got too much new news but uh, you mentioned Creed and the actors in it, and I just thought I'd throw in uh, fucking I can't wait for Black Panther. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Didn't that just, start filming recently? Uh, yeah, uh, Ant Man and the Wasp. Wasp started that, filming yeah. recently too. Uh, everything coming out from Marvel. Just give it to me. Yeah, it's funny how they're able to do that. Like mm-hmm. any DC movie, you hear all this news about like a director yeah. signing on or the, coming so on. So and so left this, and oh, and, and Flash has gone through. Meanwhile, Marvel is just. Here you go. I didn't hear a fucking <laughs> whisper about them be, about them yeah. beginning hey, to film look, either Fox, of those movies. Hey, look, we've got Maddox in the next movie. It's You're like, going to watch it anyway. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like one, <laughs> DC. It's like they're trying so hard Business. to catch people's attentions. Like, hey, yeah. look, we got this renowned director. Hey, look, this person's going to play this character. Look how famous they are. And it's like, okay, that's cool. Let's see Please if it ends start, up being good. Uh, Marvel's just, just over there in their their sandbox, just. Yeah. Like oh yeah. By away. the way, we've yeah. got Quietly. this character. No, oh yeah, we got Sylvester Sloan's in Guardians too. You know, no big deal. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all good. Side, it's just side character. Yeah. Not, not no. He, he's not. He's not like center focus. Oh yeah. yeah. It's fucking. It's fucking great. It is like I, I. I. Like everybody wants to sit there and bitch about it. It's like you know what. DC needs to start copying Marvel step for step. Like every... I mean, that yeah, it's the whole argument where they misstepped at the beginning. Yeah. They've got to now fix it. So we'll see. It's all the, just the future will a, tell. A I mean, huge we got can of worms there. Yeah, we got Wonder Woman. So maybe that'll yeah. fix DC. one month. Maybe maybe one that'll month. help. Please God. Yeah, <laughs> I have, I so far have dug every trailer like hardcore. Right. I think even the fight scenes look great. That's I was worried that they would be they would look like cut up, choppy, cutaway fight scenes. But so far, they look pretty fucking brutal. I'm not a Wonder Woman guy. Like, I've never been a character I've had much interest in. But as a DC guy, I am so nervous to yeah. see how this movie right. turns out. Right. <laughs> I hope it turns out. I so mean, good. I think it I makes sense that you've never a been a Wonder, movie, guys. Wonder Woman fan. Because, I mean, yeah. that's not you're not the demographic. She's a great character, but <laughs> yeah. just not my thing. Right. I mean, I, I remember the old TV show when it, syndi- I think it was Carter? syndicated. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. syndicated on sci fi. Back in, um, when I was a kid, a, a couple a couple different channels had it yeah. at, at some point. I, I'm pretty sure even uh, I know it was on Sci-Fi, Fox, maybe? TBS. It was yeah. on TBS. Like I know it was on TV. I mean, there, there it's been it's been through its run a few times. So, mm-hmm. I mean, there's there's and you had cable growing up. If you had cable, you yeah you, you yeah. probably saw it at least once. Oh yeah, I mean, I loved. Uh, I still my favorite bit of Wonder Woman is uh, the Justice League cartoon. Yeah, when mm-hmm. it's she's constantly like. I'm going to fuck Batman. And he's like, I, I don't know about this. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. I actually never watched him. That's, oh. that's what we grew up with. Though. Yeah. Like, like that yeah. was, that was my thing for sure. Mm-hmm. Like I said, that's my justice league. That's where I get my green lantern from. Cause that was, that was John Stewart. Oh yeah. yeah. And she used to beat the shit out of people. In that, oh, so. absolutely. Everybody was powerful in that. And I loved that about those, those cartoons, even right. though Batman had no fucking purpose half the time. You fighting dark dark side, right? What are you Batman's do? jumping around throwing batarangs Just, uh, at dark side. Keep the invisible jet 
and just keep that over there. Yeah, don't, no, yeah, that's don't ridiculous. Don't want any part of that. Did, don't, haven't they made her, like, she can fly now? Randomly, she's got the power to fly rec- I'm pretty in recent sh- DC? I'm not even recent DC. Like, I remember yeah, seeing illustrations. I remember seeing illustrations from, like, in the 60s style. So we're looking at, like, oh, okay. that around that, around that time where she was able then. to fly then. So, I mean... Yeah, I, don't know. I, I mean, <laughs> go back to Super Friends with the Invisible Jet. That's some fucking real old shit. <laughs> Wonder Twin powers combine, <laughs> and one one would turn into a, like bathwater. <laughs> yeah, one of them could turn into something awesome, and the other one like a soap bucket. <laughs> he was granted the power of beauty, power, of strength, speed, and flight. Okay. Oh, okay. The well, power of beauty. The is power that... of beauty. Yeah. Uh, what? Like, what? Uh, I'm sexy, and I know it. Post Crisis on Infinite Earths in 1985, Wonder Woman's origin has been rebooted and she could fly freely from the start. Nice. Hippolyta made a baby out of clay, and the goddesses, plus Hermes for some reason, granted Diana beauty, power, strength, speed, because, and flight. Because Hermes can fly, can he? Yeah. That's yeah. probably where she got the flight from. Right. Yeah. That, that would be, that would make sense. <laughs> she put a caveat so, she can't fly like too close to the sun. Yeah. She'll fall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that'll be interesting. Yeah, Looking forward to Wonder Woman. Be kind of nice. We've got uh, news that kind of came out of nowhere. At least in my opinion, came out of nowhere. Part of it we fully expected to get a uh, release date for Deadpool two, but we also got the confirmation that Fox is coming out with three uh, X Men universe movies next year: Deadpool two, um, the Phoenix Saga, and a New Mutants movie. I don't give a fuck about any of them except for Deadpool. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I gotta say, I mean, with with Fox's track record and X Men stuff overall, I'm like, they need to. I'm I'm just kind of shrugging over I here take, in the corner, like, okay, we'll see what happens. Yeah. How I, can you not take a break from the X Men movies? I'm I mean, they're make. I don't know how much money it made. I'm sure it made its money back and some. Yeah, even after the reception kind of received from a, a, of Apocalypse and and yeah, it, I'm sure it wasn't a mind blowing success, right? Why would you they not still just take a break? You're, yeah, you're, yeah, just, just, just you're stop. You're moving forward with that? I oh, lo- because the Who break doesn't was... want to see the Phoenix Saga and stuff like that? Oh, yeah, but I mean, that would be amazing, but... You're you're continuing with right. things. The like, break was start Logan, though, over. which made them ungodly amounts of money. I mean, and Logan was Well, Logan so has good. never yeah. really been in, like, Wolver X-Men Origins and the other They're Wolverine s- movies. They've, kind of connected, They've yeah. never really been X-Men movies, though. Yeah. Right. Which is why they're probably... His, that's that's his probably game. why they work, though, because, Well, I mean, most of some of them didn't. Like, First yeah, Class was Science okay. Right. I don't even want to get into the first three ones. Days of uh, Future Past, I think. Days of Future Past was, was okay. It was yeah. good, yeah. Was I, good. Rem- I remember liking that one, and it, it, it fixed... It Every retconned, like, the first three year movies or whatever mm-hmm. what i saw of apocalypse it was bad i i, I see it pop up because it's on hbo now so i'll, I'll be scrolling through like i want to watch something and i'll see it pop up and like do i really want to watch that i will give i I'll, I'll go on the positive side of it is in apocalypse i liked i liked the younger versions of gene gray scott and, and the newer mutants that that was <sighs> the entertaining part of that movie i just can't see anything i, I just can't unsee Sansa Stark. <laughs> I see. I don't mind her being though. I, I want to see fr- her be yeah, awesome. No, that's awesome. Like good for her. She. Yeah. Right. I'm right. Not, but... it, like I just. That, I can't not see Sansa. <laughs> it's, at some point, if she it mentions Jon Snow, me. I fucking won't mind. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a fourth wall break. Yeah. Of like a most epic proportion. But that the 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 idea that they may be combining Deadpool with that that universe. That would be really um, cool. That'd be really interesting. I want that it, right. joke of him making a fucking Winter is Coming joke around her and it, stuff it like that. He just looks at her like, "Hey, where's John?" Yeah. <laughs> like I, I want. Uh, I loved that joke. Where's about, your direwolf? Um, um, McAvoy or Stewart? Uh, McAvoy or Stewart? Yeah, yeah. we got to go uh, talk to Professor X. McAvoy or Stewart? Yeah, that, that was fucking. <laughs> I great. would be willing to bet money that maybe the New Mutants one, the may, maybe the yeah. New Mutants maybe might connect to Deadpool. Somehow there might be some connective tissue because that there, one but, seems like it might connect X uh, too. I'm right. pretty sure they're gonna keep this Deadpool separate money pit from separate. The other. Yeah, because I mean, honestly, Deadpool is so good. Like the yeah, last thing you want to do, fuck with that. yeah, the last thing you would want to do is bring <laughs> it down with something that's that you may, 
to associate it with, I guess, would be the better way. As far as something bad like as that. far as superhero movies go, they spent like ten dollars on it, right? And yeah. they made a bajillion, <laughs> right? Like I could see that. that. I could see that if this ends up being a serious bomb. But I, I honestly, if it's even moderately successful and it's kind of like, yeah, it's pretty good. Putting Deadpool in that probably immediately makes it go even a little bit better. I mean, but, I, I, mean honestly, I, I get that. I get that where you don't want to muddy it up. I, uh, keeping Deadpool separate what, was not it, bad. Okay, it was, it was Wolverine Origins where Deadpool first popped up, right? Kind of. Or, it yeah, was Wade Wilson. It and then they, they, they called fucking... him. Yeah, they called him Deadpool at the end, and they f- completely fucked. It's yeah, not everything I, about I it. think that if they had taken that the different direction and just let Ryan Reynolds be Wade Wilson, it probably would have yeah. been a million times better as a movie. Oh fuck yeah! So I mean, I, don't I, know I if think there was what any I save in that movie, it, pro- it would have at least made it um, watchable, passable. Yeah, yeah passable. I, I, that was the word I was thinking of. But yeah. Watchable is the one I said. I don't know why. It's yeah. like yeah, it's same like thing because it really lighter. wasn't watchable except right. for that scene where he is Wade Wilson. I mean, even and, wisecracks fucking funny. I, why? Why would you take the Merc with a mouth and sew his mouth shut? We just we don't we don't talk. Like, about that's that. his whole thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't, did it say the release date? Which which one slated to come first? New Mutants or uh, Dark I, Phoenix? I want to say Deadpool. Oh, in between those two, yeah, I'm not sure. Because I, 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 I don't. I don't think the New Mutants one. I don't think we got a. a I thought that was later. Because I just heard that there. I just yeah. heard. The Dark Phoenix news. It's that their release dates to me. I didn't really care about those. It was the Deadpool that it's getting. I don't. I'm real estate. I don't know how they're they're gonna dress up this me, Dark it, Phoenix it movie. Happy. Yeah, I don't know how um, they're gonna because I don't know. It's a who's, great storyline though. I'm not going to go see that movie. I'll see. I, well, I'll wait till uh, the trailers to get my I'm judgment. Not, I might. I'm, I might go see it because I mean. During the cartoon run, the Phoenix Saga was one of my favorite parts of the cartoon run. Yeah, I love the I mean, Phoenix Saga story. I mean, Jane Jean Grey as a Phoenix, it was just so badass, and she was so overpowered. Mm-hmm. And But, like, in a way that was like, that is fucking cool. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I'm kind of interested to see, and I, I'll probably go That's see it just out of nostalgia. Just for that nostalgia factor, but if it's bad, you can believe that I'm going to be on this the shit the next week just bagging that's fair i've i've never been a gene gray guy like i always went watching x-men cartoon yeah. was m- one of my cartoons <laughs> <growing> <laughs> <up>. <laughs> and uh like a uh, rogue yeah wolverine yeah yeah it was that, great that, that, Jilly! Rogue, team, that rogue Gambit. was one of my first first little boy crushes oh my god <laughs> fucking that southern <laughs> accent man yeah man Jesus, He's so sure. great oh. um yeah i don't know I, i'll check the trailers same thing i did with um the last one, Apocalypse. Yeah, I uh, mean, like I said, I, like I wanted that to be good. I fucking loved Apocalypse in the. I was in instantly show turned off when comic. he looks like Ivan Ooze. Ivan Ooze was <laughs> done. I heard that they fucking when I saw cast, oh my god, dude. cast the chick from uh, Screen Junkies uh, as fucking uh, Scarlet Witch. Yeah, there's I mean, not Scarlet uh, Witch is a uh, whatever purple ass is. There's a visual effects studio that was working on the movie. Yeah, they ended up parting ways with them. And I was watching. Uh, there's this YouTube channel called Tested with Adam Savage. He used to be on MythBusters. Yeah, it's great. right. Yeah, he um, they visit a con, and the head of this effects studio shows them what they were working on their their depiction of what Apocalypse might look like. Right. Spot on, and they they molded it onto. Um, Oscar Isaac's face. Right. So there, there's no excuse as to why he had to look like he did in the finished movie. Yeah. He could have looked like Apocalypse. Right. But they chose to make Apocalypse I s- think like I look saw like those fucking images. Ivan Ooze and look have yeah, this I mean, weird look. Like why I, would you? Apocalypse is one of the the best big bads in comics. Yeah. yeah he was a total badass. Why man. would you? What the fuck? I, I got to say that was one of the that was a big point of contention for me back when those trailers were still a thing. We hadn't had in a movie yet. We were still talking about that. I, I, I we saw the, like that initial teaser trailer, and you saw Apocalypse like the way he should have been, and then there were changes made, and you saw every trailer after that. Was, oh no, he was uh, terrible from the beginning. Well, no, like, I remember. I remember. Mm-hmm. Maybe it was test footage, or maybe it was something else that I saw. But I remember seeing something. It's I was like, probably okay. the what he's talking about. I remember. It seeing might have been. Images. Yeah. You either you either stay faithful to the character. Yeah. Or, with this, the alternative would be understandable because you have one of the best actors working today in Oscar Isaac. Right. You don't cover him up with 
much makeup at all. Right. I don't understand. I think there's what ways their to get a happy balance. Being. I don't understand what was going Jesus, on there. The way they went. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I but think I it's was just instantly out. I mean, when I think I saw it, him. I think it's just more Fox fuckery. Yeah, because I mean, Fox is yeah. making kind of the same missteps that WB is making, or and, and it's like there's too much involvement from people who don't know what they're doing. There's too much involvement from people who don't know the comics, don't know the characters, don't know the stories. So it's like, dude, just chill out. And go Fox away. is even worse than fucking WB. Yeah, it's I mean, why it took them so long say to what push you will for about. Deadpool. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, they got their cheap budget, and we're like. Holy shit! I guess if we make it like the fucking comic books, maybe people will come and see it. Are you? Yeah. Are and you then serious? Logan got made, and holy shit, that is very little to do with Old Man Logan, which is my probably my favorite uh, storyline. Right. Fucking amazing ass movie. It was. It was. I. I mean, mm-hmm. I. I'd be. Didn't we see that a second time or? I I don't remember if I saw it a second time. I feel bad that I didn't because normally I immediately see these comic book movies a second time. I mean, if it's still in theaters, I'm down to watch it again. Yeah, that movie. Oh, so I good. I didn't, I'm buying it. As I soon didn't as get it comes to go out. and see right. Logan. You, oh, you didn't see it no. in theaters. Oh. I didn't get a chance to. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I was no, bummed about you that. You definitely, you definitely missed out on one hell of an experience. Like, yeah. oh, dude, that it, that was great. Yeah, that was it, seriously it, good. it was. It, I was so happy that they're kind of. Yeah, you know, in a, in a not a sequel, but in a way, their follow up to Deadpool who, who to did, that approach was so good. Who did we see it with? Because I know it wasn't just me and you, was it? Oh, I don't remember some Joe fucking schmo. Yeah. Um, oh, it was uh, the half giant, our buddy Hodor. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew I knew somebody else had come with us. Yeah. That was the thing. I couldn't think of who it was because it's usually Ron, but yeah, Ron yeah. couldn't go for whatever reason that week, so we ended up picking up a buddy of ours who is. Like he said, like 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 Luke said, he's comparable to Hodor. Yeah. <laughs> he's like six foot nine. Yeah, yeah and this, weighs... this kid we work with should be he's starting in the giant. NFL <laughs> right now. All uh, right. Anyway, um, so let's but move yeah, on to the next topic. That was some good. Uh, that was, that was uh, amazing. Can't, I, I'm looking forward to at least uh, the possibility of those three movies. I know Deadpool two is probably. Gonna I mean, go. I'm I'm not immediately interested in the Dark Phoenix or, Phoenix or New Mutants, uh, but. See, I, I'm uh, open, so yeah. I'm, I'm interested in seeing I don't know. That. I mean, the New Mutants I never had anything to do with because by the time I guess they were a thing, I I was too far detached I mean, from the whole idea. Because like I said, I didn't grow up with comics anyway, so I never had that experience to begin with. And my only exposure is the, the Saturday morning cartoons. And I don't know that there was a, a New Mutants cartoon like that. Yeah. I think uh, Deadpool There probably 2. wasn't. I remember the, the young X-Men, but. Yeah, I think, right. I think Deadpool two is going to do a lot to set up New, New Mutants because Cable and to set mm-hmm. up uh, X Force and Cable's apparent. Uh, uh, Josh Brolin apparently signed on for three movies. Oh, I heard that's interesting. And, yeah, that's uh, interesting. One being yeah. New Mutants, right? One so being Deadpool two I'm, and one being you, you got X-Force me there a little bit. Uh, X Force um, might be kind of neat. yeah. That'll yeah. be something we'll have to see. I mean, right? It, it all depends on their execution. Like, can they can they pull off? another Logan? Can they pull off another Deadpool? Are they going to be, you know, good, you know, wise enough? It's to, going to be to introducing let it, to all let, new characters. To too. let it go the way it needs to go? Or are they going to try to force it down a fucking path, you know, that it doesn't, doesn't belong on? Yeah. I think Deadpool 2 can only get better. Right. Because the first one was so minimalist. Right. And mm. honestly, like, not they, a lot happened in that movie. Right. I, There's I, not a lot of time passed in that movie. Yeah, exactly. And there was so little that, that it, it was just basically him it was killing a love death. story too. Yeah, and, yeah. And it was. It was, it, and they did that perfectly. Valentine's Day yep. posters and shit. Oh, Pegging, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the advertising nope. department on that. Nope. They did. They did fantastic. They really, really did. I gotta say, I loved. I loved the marketing about it. I, I was down to see it when I found it. It was. It was a thing to begin with. But when we saw the marketing, I was like, Yeah, I'm done. I'm good. Yep. So uh, another little bit of news we'll touch on real quick. Jurassic World, some new stuff's come out. Um, they're trying to link it to the original Jurassic Park with a character who never existed in the movie. So, oh yeah how how's that supposed how to, how's that supposed fuck. to work? Yeah, like I mean, uh, apparently John Hammond's right hand man, who's never mentioned, not in there at all, right? Yeah. Is uh, is going to be featured in this? Um, Do we know who's playing him yet? Yes. Okay. Um, it's just, it's weird that they decide to pull him out of nowhere like this. 
Right, yeah, just just pull him out of your ass. Just thin air, boom, there's a character now. Well, this this actor, James Cromwell, yeah, he came out and re- did an interview and revealed his role that name sounds in uh, Jurassic uh, World 2. That name definitely sounds familiar. I, I know I've heard that name. And everybody's been taking that interview and jumping off. He The only thing I remember that guy in was iRobot. That was the uh, doctor, right? Yeah, he's okay. The, he's I knew, the I, knew I knew, I knew his, I knew I, the, the name was like Will that's Smith that's who I thought of. To, that's yeah. exactly who I thought of when you said James Cromwell. I'm like, that's that guy, right? Yeah. But I wasn't 100 percent sure, and then I was googling him, and my phone failed me and looked so up a different story completely. <laughs> this guy is supposed to have been like the uh, John Hammond's partner, yeah. right? Right. Like Which, said. but like I but said, he wasn't in the he wasn't in the movie. Is I'm a huge JP nerd. I, it's been about maybe six months since I've seen the first one. Right. I don't remember Hammond ever saying anything about this guy. He a never. No, he never did. Or a li- maybe a he no a liaison. It's, it's or, never no. mentioned. No. It's, no, 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 no. That, the movie that's... went pretty quick. Right. <laughs> like it, 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 there's some expl- explanation as to how they got the dinosaurs, and then the dinosaurs break out because everything fails because Newman is your IT guy. They never, uh, they never really introduce John Hammond's company in that. You get engine a right. little bit. You get the fact that they're trying to steal the Ambrose and things like that. Right. Uh, and their main introduction to engine is the sequel. Is here's Jurassic, the uh, uh, the quote Jurassic Park two that Cromwell. Um, he says the character Richard Attenborough played John Hammond. Uh, I'm his partner, Benjamin Lockwood. We developed the technology of being able to clone the genes, and so I'm trying to deal with the blowback from what we have done. So they're selling this guy as his partner that was an integral part to the first one and the I'm, creation of... And he's never mentioned And he's never one. mentioned yeah. or referenced. I so I really hope they, they have a way. So, which with scares the, the shit out of me because don't now I don't want them to fuck with the first one. I don't want to have... I don't want... To have to go, I don't want to not be able to go back and watch the first one, yeah. and not have to like okay, they're retconning the first yeah. one, right? I, but, I mean, I'm sure that they can offer. I, I, I'm this is something I'm really hoping is that they offer an explanation as to why he wasn't mentioned, rather than try to retcon the whole thing. Like, why weren't you mentioned? Why don't we know it's, about you? Because I mean, isn't isn't I mean, Jeff Goldblum's coming back. Is he's, he's coming back as the same character, right? Yeah. So he, I mean, I, I want him to bring it up. And I feel like based on his character arc, he's going to be much similar to the Goldblum in the first one, right? Because of the second yeah. one, he was like all this this like shunned fucking. Right. We don't believe you. Right. You're a fucking. We. You're whatever. You're a liar. You're, you're, a, you're a liar. Muscle. Yeah. I mean, I get why they're they're adding vindicated. this character. They really do seem like they want to touch more back on the first movie, right. which you don't have David uh, or not David Attenborough, but uh, um, yeah, David. Att- no, that's his brother. Shit, Richard Attenborough. That's yeah. his first name. Yeah, you don't have him anymore to play that um, that character to be that kind of. I I had only good intentions. Kind of character. The the. The, the well, uh, good corporate, you know, uh, overhead. Uh, that well, seems like I think that's what they're going to go with this guy. I hope so. I don't want them to like I, create an uh, evil. I actually think they're going to go the opposite. Like you think this, they'll go dark this guy is going to be kind of like kind of the villainous type. Uh, it's just not needed. You don't. No. It's not. You don't. There's a reason you're making a Jurassic World two right now after the Lost World, which was a great movie. After Jurassic Park three, which was I fucking despise that movie yeah Yeah, so bad and after like (laughs) shut up after all these movies right now you're you're making these movies because the first one is such a classic and such an amazing movie right don't fuck with that they're making it because dinosaurs make money you don't need to add that like you're adding this character now when i go back and watch the first one i'm like i know this character exists He's right. nowhere to be found. He's right. such an integral part of this of the the crea- the bringing back of dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, he's nowhere. I he's mean, not he's in one the of, movie. He's one of the two people that made it possible, apparently. And you're you're sitting there. You've got the Where original was he? movie. Was exactly. he like, was it's he like, 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 like Hayden Christensen was in he on, the special edition of uh, of uh, Return of the Jedi. Oh. He was on <laughs> he was on vacation. 
Yeah. He was on vacation like, during the opening was, of the fucking was, park, right? It was partially his baby, but he was nowhere to be found while this park, like, yeah. the fruit of all of his fucking work. Mm-hmm. I mean, you want to... the dinosaurs and shit you, like that You want to excuse it, and it, they, I hope they do it easy. They don't try and come up with some elaborate fucking excuse. All they got to say is, this guy is the behind the scenes. He's the Steve Wozniak of uh, the company, I, of... To, uh, of the Jurassic yeah. World, this I'm is, gonna try to yeah. cool to cool it a little bit because I, it's passionate. I, I, I love. I understand. One of my favorite movies. I'm no, a I JP understand. kid. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. When I was, yeah, me too. I, uh, I think four. Mm-hmm. I went to see it eight times. <laughs> the first one. I, I remember. I love those movies so dearly. They really are amazing. For the so I'm gonna try to have an open mind. Yeah. Right. But uh, I know they're gonna hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. The one th- I don't I, I, know, I disagree. I know they're gonna hurt me, but I'm gonna try to remain open to this. Right. I, I kind of disagree here. with you about Jurassic World a little bit about quality wise, but I can't deny the fact that sitting in the theater and seeing it was dinosaurs f- in a park again. I left breaking the theater out with stuff. a fucking yeah. smile on my face. I didn't stop smiling for like 15 yeah. minutes. That that's a record that, for Ron. That <laughs> that is. He gets a blowjob and stops smiling that's, after that's five. That's all right. That's <laughs> mission accomplished. They set out to do. Yeah. They they accomplished what they set out to do. They weren't trying to win a fucking Oscar. No, no, they were just trying to cash in on nostalgia. Yeah, yeah, and they did too. Nostalgia they trip. totally did. Cash that totally check. did. It was a oh, fun man. movie. It was. It was Chris it was. Pratt was in it. He was fucking great in it. I mean, you got to see Chris Pratt broing around with fucking velociraptors. That was pretty awesome. So weird. It the, was. It was a movie you ch- like. You just fucking watch and eat suspension of disbelief. Don't go see yeah. it a second time and think about it because it will ruin the yeah, experience. And I feel like it was kind of a monster movie. The yeah, yeah. the D Rex was. Uh, the I- Irex, Irex, Indominus, and Dominus Rex. He was, Rex. That, he was actually that take me away. He this. was act, it was actually kind of terrifying. And I'm sitting yeah. here thinking like you, we said Irex, and I'm thinking it, first thing I thought of is Apple sponsoring this. Like the Irex, I think was a toy I had when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, Jurassic the re- the, the fucking uh, it was a it was a uh, remote control uh, dinosaur. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I remember that, that scene when Chris Pratt is under the jeep and like. They're that breakout the scene was probably my favorite scene in uh, of it the was, movie. It was, I, it was good. Out. It I was mean, minus the fight fuck. at the end, but yeah. Right. That and was then you get the, the you get the payoff again. They get the they rec they rectified the fucking wrongdoing that they did in JP three. Right. By oh, we got a new Spinosaurus. Let's shit all over the fucking T Rex and right. shit all over everybody. Right. I love that they nope. had the skeleton of the Spinosaurus getting trashed. Yeah. Like, like, and we're gonna have this little bit of an Easter egg here. We're gonna, Fuck we're off. gonna apologize to our longtime yeah. fans. We're I can't sorry. even, I, I can't even look. I can't even look at the third one. Like, oh, though, man, if I no. the DVD sit somewhere, I don't want to. I don't even want to look at it. It's like it's just out of your field of view. There's just, there's just yeah, a yeah. void where it is, which you don't sucks want to because they got you know Sam Neil back for that one and right. all this shit. I kind of want to see Sam Kirby's. Neil back too. By the way, now that we've got Jeff Goldblum yeah. coming back, me too. Yeah. So thanks for listening. That's been uh, all the topics that we've got for you this week. Hope you come back next Sunday and listen again. We should uh, stick into our schedule. We'll be releasing every Sunday. But uh, that's been the Ungodly Geeks. Right on. I'm Ron. Take it easy. I'm Luke. And I'm Joe. You guys have a good day, and uh, don't do anything I would do.